right, so welcome back and welcome back to the show. You're still watching Prime Morning. Don't forget, we are very live on our social media platforms. So we want you to engage with us over there as well as Joy Prime TV across Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We are getting closer to the 2020 elections, December 7th, a few days away. I shouldn't even say weeks. It's a few days away. And you do have the right to excise your votes, but do it peacefully. Now, as we get closer to the elections, we have so many NGOs and agencies as well who will be paying close attention to the happenings of our elections the reason why we always have to maintain our peace so we can tell the world that ghana is different when it comes to elections now one of such agencies is open foundation west africa and this morning they had to tell me more about the ghana polls 2020 initiative that they have about to start or probably started already this morning i'm here with jesse and kobe Kobe and Jesse, <laughs> in that manner, Kobe and Jesse, to tell me more about this project. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you doing? Good morning, and um, we're good. Uh, we can't hear you. I can't even hear uh, a Malawi. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah. good. That is, the man in, that is a man in Kobe talking now. <laughs> so what is this, what is all about, or what is Ghana Post 2020 all about? Okay. Let me start off with, uh, okay, let me start off with uh, Jesse. Um, the Ghana Post 2020 yes. is a campaign mm -hmm. project undertaken by Open Foundation West Africa. Mm -hmm. This is basically to tell the Ghana mm -hmm. story about the election that is um, yes. happening on 7th um, December okay. 2020. So basically we are telling the Ghanaian story in Miami. When you say telling the Ghanaian story, is it film, is it uh, audio, is it pictures, is it a uh, narrative? Just give me some more insights into it. That's an interesting thing. Um, so you realize that Africa's representation on the internet is very, very small. Um, that's because we don't document a lot of the things that happen in our country, our history. And so when you're looking for things that have happened in and around Africa, you only rely on oral tradition. What we are trying to do is to document every single piece of history, including elections, so as to give Ghana and, in the long run, Africa, that much exposure or that much documentation on the internet. Mm. So pictures, text, videos, just about anything that would give concrete evidence that such a thing has happened. Um, for posterity to look back at. Mm. Interesting. Now, now that you, you're, you're mentioning pictures, text, videos, it means that you'd, you'd, be, you'd be needing contributions from people as well. Yeah. It wouldn't be sitting on you. So how do people take part in, in this? Okay. Okay, let me say from so you. People can take part um, by... We'll, we'll have a, a, a WhatsApp platform whereby they can contribute to and also um, the community, mm -hmm. our community. Um, which consists of we, the editors in the community, who also contribute um, by a um, um, series of edits mm -hmm. and um, key, um, about key and most important um, things about the elections. Yeah. Well, I'm very sure we've got viewers across the country watching and somebody wants to know how to even get in touch with the team to be able to contribute. And when does it start? When does it end? How? Okay. So on the 7th of December, mm -hmm. we are looking to have um, a hackathon. Which is, yes. Yeah. It's basically going to be live updates of the events unfolding during the elections um, on Wikipedia and on social media. It's the reason why we've created the hashtag so we can have people curating all the information in one place for easy access and for people to also um, follow the, inter um, the conversation. Um, and so how they can contribute is really very simple. They can just post pictures on social media, um, comments, commentary, however you want to put it, on social media, but they have to use the hashtag, the Ghana Post 2020. It's the only way we can view the information or access the information and also put it out there on Wikipedia. Let me ask this quite tough question. How do you verify the content that has been put up online by someone, whether it's current, ongoing, and it's an old... You know people are going to share a lot of fake stories, fake information, yeah. or how do you um, how do you sanitize and filter the information that is coming to us? Actually, we'll be um, relying on your network and other networks who are running the elections <laughs> so that we wouldn't kind of um, produce fake news mm -hmm. or mislead um, people who are also monitoring whatever we are doing. Mm -hmm. So we'll be following um, um, the news sources in order to provide good information mm -hmm. for the general public. 
So basically, is there any an advice you'd want to put out to people now? Because I see that coming as well. Because people would share for personal reasons, for political reasons. You know, there are people who would want to, uh, you know, just try and yeah, play I funny during this 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 season or this time. I think I think that being. Um, the ones running the campaign, we also have the responsibility of being gatekeepers. Mm -hmm. So um, on Wikipedia, actually, we have a list of credible sources. Mm -hmm. um, it just so happens that um, multimedia has a few of their outlets on there. Um, and so what we're going to do is, because it's going to be a live update, we issue a disclaimer. However, um, afterwards, we know for a fact that we're going to have the credible news agencies um, writing stories about um, events unfolding um, before, even during and after the election. And so those are going to be our references for the stories or the articles that we are going to put up there on Wikipedia. I do believe, okay, he just answered that question. because I, I was going to ask that, so at, at the end of everything, all the information collated and data that is um, acquired cool. is going to go on to Wikipedia. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just go on there and read e easily. And yeah. it will still, would you mean that you have to go on there and type maybe Ghana elections or what do you type on Wikipedia to find out this? Um, um, we, have, we have um, a website okay. that's running, that's um, our campaign website that's running. That's called the uh, um, Ghana Post 2020. Mm -hmm. When you go on Google, you can search for it, you'll find it. Or better still, go to meta.wikimedia.org. Mm -hmm. And um, when you go there, you search for the Ghana Post, then you can get that information about whatever we are doing. Here yeah, we have a campaign page on whatever we are doing, so you can read and get insight to um, the campaign. Yeah. Fantastic. Kobe, any yeah. final words? Um, I'll just say that we should try and keep the peace mm -hmm. and try and contribute actively to this campaign. Um, it's one Ghana that we have and we are hoping that even after the elections we can still keep the peace and grow. Fantastic. Yeah, um, as you said, we need to still keep the peace yeah. and support ourselves during the election mm -hmm. and ensure that we come out with a successful election without any fight. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse and Kobe from Open Foundation West Africa. And yes, they join me for us to have a discussion on Ghana, the Ghana Polls 2020. That is the hashtag that is going to be trending. So if you want to contribute to this as well, just go on social media. You can actually capture live happenings of the election on that day, December 7th. And then when you put it online, add the hashtag, the Ghana Polls 2020, so they can collate this data. We can put it, we, we can put it up and then, you know, for, for people or persons who want to access information about um, the elections. They would have credible information to pick up and a credible source to pick it up from. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you very much for having us. Well, it's Thursday. Constituency Watch coming up with MFR. Don't go away.